I thought I'd give a chance or just a little comment on these uh, games. This uh, Joe Biden, all right, you're gonna give a good background. I'm gonna give you who Joe Biden exactly is, who British royals exactly are, right? Because nobody can actually give you the in about these people more than what I do. I go back for you all the way when I was like six, seven, eight, nine years old, delivered to Britain, the United States of America is where I experienced the biggest problem. And I'm referring to this issue here. The biggest cheaters during a UK MK Ultra children contest were white Aryan kids. First of all, uh, I don't know about anybody else who would be drugged up. Joe Biden insisted there were like two other kids, whatever, and the rest there was not. Uh, this kind of explanation to me is bullshit. It, it, I would say there's little for me. It actually does nothing for me. It gives me, it doesn't give me any kind of, uh, I, I cannot rationalize anything like this. Uh, so what you are saying is, listen, Joe Biden, let me explain to you something. And he goes the same, Prince Charles already know, King Charles know, listen, Joe, uh, as a kid, drugged up as I was, I was stronger than kids one, two years older than myself that were not drugged up. Listen, Joe, I was um, mentally more powerful drugged up as a child than you were as an adult, actually, than what you all were as an adult. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. When I was delivered to United States of America, <laughs> Joe Biden demanded from me to let white kids pass me. He demanded from me to actually just let myself allow them to throw me on the floor, wipe the floor with me and stuff. And I asked Joe, I said, Joe, uh, I was like, why? Why do you want this? Why why you want something like this from me? And Joe stated to me, he said, well, I want it this way because it's the kind you like, you know, white, like the white, uh, and these are your kids. These are your, you know, these are those that you're going to be working with. So I think, number one, that's racist. Uh, number two, um, no, I, I was, I was, I, I, I was, I was, maybe I allow one, maybe something like this. And it was others that want to do the same thing. And I, and I just fucking grab one and throw one all over the place in the second and the third one and the fourth one, I didn't give a fuck. And listen, when I was, this shit happened when I was probably like, uh, I, I don't know, I think I was like, it, either I was seven years old or eight years old, let's say eight years old. So. I figure out in my little head as a child, I figure out, yeah, I mean, so what? I mean, what? I mean, you're saying to me that I have to allow these kids because it's the one I like, or because they're white, because they're white. 
I have to allow them to throw me on the floor. Uh, well, it was against my religion. I didn't have any religion, but as I stated earlier, my logic went far beyond the logic of adults. It was everything that made me strong. Physically, mentally, it was one thing. And I figured out, fuck no, I figured out, no way. Uh, I'm not going to be slave to anybody, right? Because when you're saying that I have to, you're, what you're saying is that you're a weak. And you're saying that because I like you so much that I have to give you the power so that you can do with me whatever the fuck you want. As a slave, that's a definition of the slave, and that's how you got ahead. You got ahead with lies, with using exactly this kind of concept to get past everything. Uh, it's a recipe that's been used on a lot of other people. I'm not the only victim to this shit. And you didn't stop there, Joe. You went on, actually, to insist me by using black kids foremost there were only maybe two hispanic kids because they mentioned the hispanic over there in the article uh the rest was all black and it was in area of mike tyson new york uh that area baltimore eastern part of u.s that there were these black kids of which uh many 50% I'm going to say they were like violent. They were unwilling to accept the loss. I have written here wrong stuff that I have written. It's not properly done, this stuff here. That's why I'm video recording this stuff, because I want to be very, very, very detailed about everything. Okay? Cool. Uh, otherwise... This is exactly the way it is. Very, very awesome post here. And I want to make it up even with better video. I want you to understand the whole thing. What, where I went wrong with what the hell I went. What, what was so wrong about it. There was something about these black kids like Tyson. And about this little friend of mine here. That I totally, totally forgot about. You know? I totally, totally forgot about. And there was also something good about Joe Biden. I have to be honest. I mean, I'm not here to just stress something. Uh, go and ran over somebody completely uh, without stressing out also the positive things. I found in Joe Biden a positive in respect to this issue here that uh, he explained this boy here, Mark Henry, that this boy, he explained Mark Henry. Uh, Mark Henry saw me, uh, and uh, at first, we didn't like each other. And then, um, actually, he had a very, very hard time taking a loss. And it was his father who started to force him and so on. And another one who started to assist Mark Henry, believe it or not, was Lavrov. Lavrov traveled to the United States big time. And Lavrov demanded from me to become friend with Mark Henry, which I refused. Um, good thing about Joe Biden, all right, let's go back, and I'm going to say what the good thing was about the Joe Biden. You see, everything I state are facts. That's why I'm wasting this time. Otherwise, I wouldn't. It pays off because everything is on record. Everything is on tape. Everything was seen. People are real. They exist. It pays me off. What's good about Joe Biden is that...
and I'm not sure it's good about Joe Biden. Joe Biden, that's uh, definitely that's not a good thing about Joe Biden. He definitely is not a good. It's not. It's not a positive Joe Biden either. Um, it's very very hard for me to find Joe uh, positive about Joe Biden. Um, he used me to get into community, get into the black community, community, minority community through this kind of issues and have presented me to minority community. Um, actually took a full responsibility for me. It's much, much worse. You can't do worse thing than that. If you compare my previous statement with what I'm going to say now, uh, Joe Biden had a plan to enslave me, and he did, through the world of lies and violence that followed up on me. Joe Biden uh, stated to me in front of minorities that he is embarrassed, that he is, uh, he is now uh because of me seen as a racist and because of that stuff that he's gonna have to prove that uh it's not like this and this and that and what he did was he worked with the soviets he worked with the lavrov in expansion of the crime the crime was growing and growing it's like fucking exploded against me the one who exploded one on the West against me were British royals. I guess we could say Joe Biden is um, a contractor from the Buckingham Palace. He works for the British royals. Yes, he's Irish, but I don't give a fuck. So what? Between the Irish and between the British, when it's the third party involved, uh, all the Irish become British and the British become quickly Irish. Maybe I was going to say it's a good thing about Joe Biden. And the good thing about Joe Biden was, is he explained Mark Henry because he couldn't, Mark Henry couldn't believe how I was stagnating. I was, he was getting big, strong, and I was just shrinking, getting smaller and smaller like a little dot, basically. Soon I became like a fly next to him. There was no comparison anymore. And he couldn't believe this shit. So Mark Henry couldn't understand what the fuck went on. And the same was with uh, Mike Tyson and with all these people up in New York area. Like, we're like enemies, basically. But they had feelings for me because... They couldn't understand what the fuck went on. And again, Joe Biden again credited himself saying, well, you know, is with him is he's from Yugoslavia and he is under this kind of situations and they are doing this kind of things to him, this injection and shit. Um, so that's a good thing about Joe Biden. The bad thing about Joe Biden was that I became more and more a uh, bitter uh, hater. Something I was little not poised and was happening to me as a child, whether I like it or not, because I was exposed to all kinds of issues like this. And here I'm going to stop and uh, I'm going to transfer myself from this here to Britain, to Britannia. What do you think went on in the Britain? The Britain, in, in the Britain, in Britain, I had uh, King Charles and Prince Andrew. It wasn't, it, it was really racist, but it was not about the people so much. It was about this people here that you see, they worked for the Soviets, that's one thing. 
this here is a prime of the British society. And the last thing you would be suspicious about, you could, that would come to your mind, at least I could fucking believe this shit. And I was in the center of all this. And I had a, you don't, you don't understand anything how difficult this stuff was for me. Um, it's really impossible to describe how difficult this stuff was for me. Uh, because I was convincing myself that I, I couldn't believe, I was convincing myself that they did this shit to me because they had the extreme ability to grow in your heart. And I did spoke about the issues they, they loaded me with, like my being part of their family and all kinds of issues. And this here was like an ultimate racism. And still, it's still not a definite thing here with the British royals. It's because this is very, very, very difficult stuff to do, folks. Um, let me explain. This was this was definitely a case of racism. This this you know, if anybody's out there and first of all is asking you something like this, I mean, that let's say that is certain group of people, race, whatever, that appeals to you, you're drugged up, first of all. When you're drugged up, this is like what is known as an inferiority. When you are drugged up, you are inferior. You are your person definitely not equal. You are not treated equal. You are being treated like a shit, basically. You are shit. You are less than a slave. Actually, this is um, how can I say? This is an upgraded slavery, really. That's what this is. A modern age slavery is what is known as Ultra. And so what I want to say to you is demanding from you, and it, I don't give a shit whether you're black or you're Hispanic or you're Asian or you are Eastern European. Because I, I decline to refer to myself as white. Simple. Because of these things. I hate, I don't see myself as white. Uh, Somebody's asking, demanding from you basically to lay down in front of him because uh, this is so repulsive, it is impossible for me to explain. I mean, drugged up, you understand, drugged up uh, because it's the one you like, it's because you're the one you're going to work with. It's like saying to the person, um, basically, you can't. It's 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 a demand, basically, to submit yourself uh, in front of uh, a higher race, in front of higher. You know what I mean? On your knees, basically, allow yourself to be humiliated. Allow yourself to be. You know, it doesn't work for me. This kind of stuff. As a child, I figured it out immediately that this uncle is fucked up. Another uncle that was fucked up was this Andrew here that you see. That was a really, really fucked up person. He would go up north from London and would be meeting with this man here that Express UK sent out. They died age 88, just like was the age of. Jovanka and Josip Bros Tito. Um, this was the man who was extremely, extremely involved in this stuff. Uh, and it's really, really funny because just as I published the news, they put the news out and the news matched the one from MK Ultra when the gentleman promised me that if some way, somehow, it's going to happen, that his age is going to be 88, like the one from Tito and from the Yovanka, he definitely will get the death certificate. So I know for 100% that this guy absolutely 
absolutely. All right. All right, this is this this British man that I actually no worries, I got the I took a screenshot of this and this is the man here. Michael Parkinson died at age eighty eight. Yeah. This guy was this guy built his career. This guy on this case. This guy was meeting with a Prince Andrew. He would be like a companion of Prince Andrew. He would travel, British royals, and they would have frequently accompanied them, uh, uh, TV hosts, media journalists, and stuff like this. And as they would go to a certain location, they would they would assemble the news they would want themselves to see in in a particular way. Yeah, and so this was the guy who was specialized really in meeting these moms and dads, uh, sort of exclusive portion of the society, which I was told by others that at the time in Britain that did not even exist yet. So it was Prince Charles and Prince Andrew that started something really, really shady actually in Britain through this case. And I would be meeting moms and dads, not only those kids. And um, those uh, were really, really nice with me. There was nothing Aryan about them. And they were acceptable. They were nice. Uh, first of all, I did not want to fight anybody. I did not have a plan to, to fight anybody. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to have any kind of physical confrontations. But if you already got me in some kind of stupid shit like this, uh, and uh, you know, then it's like you warm me up into something, and then I, you know, I felt like you know, all right, let's let's do a little bit of this. Um, I think it's very important that I stress this out because. Prince Andrew depicted me like to these moms and dads like the same shit like in uh, uh, like in the United States of America he demanded for me to submit myself on knees in front of these kids after a while he got an idea that this actually is not good for some Eastern European kid to come in Britain and throw these kids all over the place, British kids, uh, that he demonstrated that these kids are like, like a butter crumbling in front of some Eastern European. It, it, it caused harm. All of a sudden it was like, it was like a panic. Um, a lot of crazy wrong decisions and then all of a sudden panic and and uh, uh, it's like doing some stupid shit and then it comes to him and it's like don't don't talk that i shouldn't but yeah that's right we shouldn't do that yeah that, well, that's a mistake hey hey now you have to go and you have to allow them to to throw you on the floor and stuff like that you know um a little bit uh, crazy I figure out not completely okay with these people, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew. Now you started to ask me again in the same way as Joe Biden. So I know this shit was all coordinated. It was a well established MK Ultra route for Eastern European kids, and God knows how many they got on this wrong pattern, life pattern. I'm not the first victim of this. And so I got really along with these uh, moms, dads over there with these children who were really nice to me. Uh, I I was like, I didn't want to fight and this and that, but it was this Andrew that 
always want some crazy stuff, excitement, whatever. And, uh, you know, okay, so we were doing this stuff. And then, yeah, all of a sudden it came that I have to submit myself to them uh, in exactly the same fashion. It was like expected. Well, I mean, you know, uh, now you have to allow them and this and that. And again, I had a problem with it. I has, I was maybe, call me stupid, uh, say whatever you want, but I was not willing. Uh, even other kids did. They, they use other kids. You, you saw him. He did. Okay, now you. You have to. No, I will not. You know? And I refused to do it. And I felt that exactly what I explained. Yeah, they, they're good-looking kids, but what the fuck? I mean, so what? If I'm going to work with them, that means what? If I'm going to work with them, then I have to what? Throw myself on the floor, deny myself? You know what you were saying? I said to myself, you know, fuck you. I mean, you're saying that I should just go and deny myself. I'm not fucking denying myself. I'm not going to go and deny, curse myself, basically, throw myself on knees. Because some other somebody else, some other did, and because I'm gonna work with them and that kind of stuff, I'm not gonna fucking do that. So I was like, prove it. And then they tried another thing. Then it was like making me really, really stupid. Prepare me like for the fight and this and that, and uh, uh, have uh, one kid involved in it. Uh, and parents with the children looking at me like awkward, like make me feel like really, really awkward, like make me feel like not even want to be there. Made me feel like, what the fuck am I even doing here? Why the fuck am I here? Like the next step that I, I considered would do if I would have difficulty handling my uh, this is really stress, but you know, let's say emotional uh, aspect would be actually screaming and demanding to get me out of there. Uh, some kids would probably go and cry or something like that. It was so fucking awkward, so embarrassing and stuff like this. And you know, so I figure out, I really, really figure out, I said to myself, no, I didn't back down. Uh, I I just pretended like I was stupid deliberately because you want to see me stupid. Uh, okay, see me stupid. So what? Fact of the matter is that I might have even looked stupid, but that's okay because you are an adult. I mean, you are so much older than myself, and you should really be embarrassed in front of those parents, moms and dads, and they should also be embarrassed, because is it British, really, to be a, such a racist bigot like this, to consider to do it with the with children from elsewhere, to basically to, to give them this kind of uh, overview about themselves? That was a firm case of the racism. And with the Joe Biden was exactly, exactly identical. I definitely would not say any of this if it was not true. And even if it would, even if, well, let's say, if you would mistreat me like this, this shit would never come out. But because you are so not nice, really, because you really did something that you had no right to do, and because you based your political career, Joe Biden, on this shit, not because you would be out there to prove something, like you know, you're proving something that nothing is wrong with me and that I had to. Fuck you, nothing ever was wrong with me, but with you, there was a lot, a lot of stuff that was wrong. You based your political career, you with British royals have created yourself an uh, entire imperium. In, entire imperium, entire world, like you out of uh, like a puzzle pieces, you you created the whole universe out of this case. 
meeting people here, doing that, creating this, doing that. You created yourself entire like underworld, world of art in this case. Somebody like myself that have liberated literally children in Yugoslavia from the Serbian Chetnik aggression. Uh, somebody like myself who have literally um, liberated children and adults from the curtain of death, basically, a Soviet Union, and was treated like a shit, basically seen by his own people like, uh, like a nonsense, like bullshit. Uh, wow. I mean, you should be really, really, really embarrassed. You should really be ashamed of yourself. But you're Aryan. And you're never going to be embarrassed. You're never going to be ashamed of yourself because you're Aryan. And you expect. You are using us for that purpose. To the Eastern European kids, whether you're in Poland, whether you're, uh, whether you're in the Republic, whether you're, whatever is the hell that you are, your leaders that you have, that we all had, these leaders that we all had, this was all shit. My case did not start it when I was uh, age four. Uh, my case, my MK Ultra case, did not start it when I was age five. Um, my case, do you know when my MK Ultra case started? My MK Ultra case started when I was two years old. Two years old, I was already in Belgrade. I was delivered as a two years old straight to the Belgrade and to the Soviet Union, to the Moscow. The first proof I got into my hands was this one here. This was the first proof, this was the first accomplishment that I accomplished for you, whether you're in Poland or Slovenia, Croatia or Hungary or uh,
Hey, hey, I saw this news this morning. I I thought it would be easy thing to get out this stuff here. Anyhow, in 1974, there was a change to the Constitution in 1974 in Yugoslavia. Uh, and it was what Josip Broz Tito regretted. Yugoslavia was the last time to Bros. This was the only regret that Josip Bros allowed. In 1974, the constitution was changed. Uh, and it gave the nations, every nation within the Yugoslav Federation, the right to equality. Uh, this was done through me. This was the first thing I have accomplished for you. Uh, it was a blonde police officer. Now I go back to the age, maybe even two. Age three was a maximum. As I stated, I was the strongest of the strong kids. I was... Uh, at age two, at age three, I was already like children of age five, six. Um, this police officer was the one who asked me to please do something for him to help them out, to do something so that I would change, that I would, they already had other children do. They were doing bad stuff in Belgrade. And it was, everything was on a, on a brink, on the edge. So the police officer had a totally, totally blonde hair, this police officer. And he said, do me a favor, we depend on you here in Slovenia. And I said to him, like, what? What kind of favor? What is it that you want from me? What? And he said, do it the same way like you did the other occasions when you were with these kids in Serbia. Uh, just don't have anything to do with it. Just mind your own business. Don't just do it yourself. It was something that if whenever I mind my own business, that these kids would just totally lose it and became very, very aggressive, violent. And it was indifferent in 1974 with Josip Brostito having the final word about it. However, it was already Croatian, Slovenian police pressured uh, the interior, in, internal, I, interior, Ministry for Interior pressured Serbs, Tito, with issue that it's necessary to grant every republic for the sake of the children and nobody else, the quality, the rights, so they can protect their children and so on. So this was the first thing you, Eastern Europeans, I did for you. Uh, for the people in Eastern Europe, wherever you are, whether you're in Latvia and Lithuania, all these things that I, I accomplished myself for you, I was treated, as you know, like a dirt, like a shit, without your even having ever the overview, the ability to know many of you at least. And many of you were hypocrites because you knew it. Uh, 
politicians were all hypocrites, all liars. Every one of you liar was no good. You're no fucking good. You cheated. You have stolen my life. It's like I have written on the website today. If I was a Serb, if I was a Russian, I would be president of the Russia or Serbia. Because I was from Slovenia, I was worth nothing. And you know, the thing is, I was also worth nothing to you. It wasn't only... Yeah, and there we go to the next step about this stuff. When I was delivered, or if I go back to these issues, which I had touched a little earlier, you know, in the United States and in Britain, the two things that really bothered me, you know, um, in U.S., it's not the people, it's not the black, it's not the white that determine what the view on you is going to be by the state. In Britain, definitely. It's the polity that does it. Um, and you couldn't be more wrong when you know you would be start you would start taking sides black or white or whatever side and this and that. That's actually where you really get yourself in like in a lot of issues that are totally unnecessary for you, uh, because the main thing for you that you should know you from Eastern Europe is who you are. You never ever should forget about who you are. Uh, because it, it, it matters the most a fact that it's even impossible in certain way, in a certain degree, because of what I also stated earlier when I suggested that British royals represented the West, Soviet Union, Soviets. There was no fucking Soviet Union, there was just a Russia. Soviet Union never ever existed. Uh, like in Yugoslavia, there was there was no Yugoslavia. There was only Serbia, really. And you know, when you are in a position like this, I also consider it that you know it was demanded for me to get along with the black kids. Uh, demanded for me to uh, put it in the right context. Expected for me to see black kids, minorities as nice opposed to the Aryan kids. It's extremely, extremely, extremely difficult for me to just sign and say, you know, this man or this man or this man are the people that are 100% Nazis. They are 100% racist and they are 100%, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult. Because it's, it's again that flux, it's the politic they get in from the Soviet Union, or Russia, I should say, that required from these people to implement against me. Joe Biden was the same like British royals, that was for the American market, to, to literally demand it from me, like creation of some kind of personality. Like you understand me what I'm trying to say? If it wasn't for Soviet Union, if it wasn't for the Russia, I should say, because Soviet Union you were, whether you were in Poland or Czech Republic or Hungary or Romania or whatever the fuck you were, Baltic States or Ukraine, if it was not for the Soviet Union, It definitely would would be written Russia, which Russia was the one who enfor which enforced everything. 
I could say, yeah, you are a racist, you are a racist, you did this, and you did this, you did that. But because these parents, you see, when it all started, were nice, everything was nice, was normal. And then he went into like really, really racially charged racism. I can't even fucking say this because of the Russia. So this was meant for the Eastern Europeans. You see how much it matters whom you have at home, whether you have at home a politician that is actually representing your interests, so your own government, or where you are part of some kind of a Soviet Union or federation of uh, Yugoslavia or something like this. Because inside of that federation, inside of that fucking Soviet Union, somebody like myself who was really, really discriminated against could not even fucking say, you know, you're a racist, you know, you did this, you did that. But guess what? The fucking Russian, the fucking Serb, was the one that came to rescue to the area. Lavra was the one. Serbs would go to the United States of America. They would fucking kill you if it was necessary. The only thing they did was they went to the register at home in Slovenia or Croatia or Macedonia, or Montenegro, or Ukraine, or Poland, or Hungary, or Romania, or Czech Republic, whatever the fuck, Lithuania, Estonia, you name it, and make the fucking check mark. Zik, zik, you know, check mark like a cross. This is a little bit 45 degree. Dead, died, and the year next to it. The rest, you know, Americans do it, British do it, whatever the fuck you are located. You don't even understand how fucking big this shit was, how important this stuff was. And your little fucking politician in Eastern Europe sure did not take no fucking time to stress you about anything about my case. For you to understand the value, the size, the importance of this is what I'm trying to tell you. When you have somebody else that is responsible, that is in charge for your life, another nationality, the life is very different. You don't actually even exist. You might say, I'm Polish, I'm Czech, I'm Slovak. Fuck, you're not. You're just a fucking check mark. All right? That's all. It's so fucking bad that whether you were fucking discriminated against your being everything that can be discriminated against you you wouldn't even have a capacity to complain to say because it's those people back home that will fuck you up if you don't have the back home if you don't have you don't even exist thanks for watching this video till next time